Well, it's just arrived, as you know from my video from last week with UV lights, and I told you I just found the most powerful light I've ever tested in the last 30 years of UV lights, uh, the little tiny handheld one. Well, you could say this is the big monster brother, and I haven't tested it other than just turned it on, but damn, it's bright. <laughs> uh, it's called the UV Beast. It has three... 18650s in it. Uh, actually, you can screw off. This is an extension where you could add another um, 18360. Um, yeah, 18650. An 18650 lithium ion battery. Uh, of course, I had to add the extension and add another battery because we all know more is better. <laughs> add more refrigerant. More is better. <laughs> so, uh, finally, I'll get to test the new Testo micron um, gauge and the new micron I have the 570 refrigerant gauge set I just ordered the 557 which is not the German made 571 but the Chinese made 557 four port manifold it's their new edition uh, I did not want to get the one without the manifold gauges because I own the whole set of tests. Actually, I have duplicates of the whole entire range and set to use with MeasureQuit, the, all the test gauges. So I don't need to order a manifold that I have to hook up uh, hoses to. But I've had a lot of guys ask me about the Testo fi uh, 5 series and 550 if I thought it was okay. And I told them, you know, I'm really happy with the 570 and I wasn't willing to purchase a set of gauges until it's been out long enough so I could hear the positives, the negatives, and give them enough time to work out the bugs. And if they had any, say, defects or they needed to upgrade anything in firmware, software upgrade, it's been long enough. They should have figured it out by now that I'm willing to buy one and take a risk. So I'll finally do a review on the 557 Testo for the guys who wanted an alternative to the 570 or you can just get the three port and get the 550. So I will have the 557, which is basically the same as the 550, but just with four, uh, the 550's three ports, the 557's four ports. And I'll be getting into 557, it's on delivery. It's supposed to be delivered in the next day or two. Uh, so, Thanks to uh, True Tech Tools, who I always could give a thumbs up to. Uh, always coming through. It's really hard. These weren't True Tech Tools. This was two True Tech Tools, and so was the 557 coming, which there'll be a review on, and I'll take it through all its uh, courses to see how it performs. This I got straight from a UV light. You'll see, we'll do a shootout with all the other UV lights, and we'll do a comparison. I could tell you right now. This one has what's called a woods filter on it. You see that black lens? It's to help filter out the visible light because the visible light, and there's still visible light that comes out, but it's the visible light. This is helps get the bandwidth of the light in the six, no, in the 365 nanometer range. And uh, this thing is, uh, you could see a little light there. That's the visible light. But it's actually, it filters out the higher bandwidth and lower bandwidth, all the overlap, to more narrow it down exactly towards the 365 bandwidth. So we'll do a shootout with this and see how it compares with all the other lights. Upcoming video. See you guys.